today we are going to join Catherine, one of our users who uses market xls to monitor her call positions and we are going to uh, look at her spreadsheet how she uh, lays it out what data she brings in and how market xls helps her makes her decisions the video quality will be a little blurry in the beginning uh, but it will become uh, clearer in the end so let's go to the excel spreadsheet and see how she has laid it out okay thank you um i've uh, changed my screen i'm showing you the tab called options calls and this is where i'm just showing you a few of my covered call positions um, and i'm not going to spend too much time on this uh this spreadsheet but but just a little honestly when i sell a covered call i don't spend much time thinking about it but i do it's it, um it's my intention to to set strike prices that you know of course are above my cost and also above the current strike price or the current share price and so i'm looking to go anywhere from five to twenty percent above the current share price if i want to exit the position i may only go five percent up if I want to hold on to the shares, then I want a bigger buffer and I'll do a 20%, um, what I call the margin of safety. If the, if the call starts getting out of whack, so let me try to explain this column S right here, where you see I'm in danger on four of these calls. This is basically where the current share price has exceeded the strike price. And this first one is just horrifying. Um, this is Alba Marley, it's a lithium uh, miner, and they're involved in electric vehicles, um, which use lithium in their batteries. And I bought these shares at $70. And I thought, well, I'm smart. I think this is gonna go up. So I'll set this strike price at $105. I got a nice premium from it and and of course that was a long time ago that i opened this call position because the price keeps going up and up and up and honestly to get to this strike price i'm rolling it up like five dollars every few months um, to where now my expiry date is way out into the future my strike is 105 and the current price is 234. So I'm in danger because, you know, I'm in a position where I might have to sell it for half of what it would be worth if I did not have this covered call on it. I would still make profit, but you know, this is sad, obviously. And um, what I will do with this is when it gets a little bit closer to 2023, if I'm still alive at that point, I will, um, you know, be looking for opportunities to roll this up to 110 or 120. Um, but only if I can do it at a little bit of a net profit on the roll. I don't really like to lose money on the roll. At that point, I'd honestly just assume let the shares be called away. And if the shares are called away, I'll end up with $10,500 in cash that I can do something else with and just, you know, have learned this horrible, horrible lesson. So, so she has the date of the option when she actually did uh, sold the option. Here she keeps track of the expiration date, the strike price, the premium she received, and any fee she might have paid and uh, what de desired outcomes are. So these are the fields which she pay, fills in manually. Everything else is automatic. So now what is happening here is she has set up a formula saying if the current underlying price is higher than the uh, strike price, change the color, is called conditional formatting. So let's add some more functionality to this to see how you would add any rules you might want to uh, add to the Excel spreadsheet. Step one I would like to see is, there is she hasn't really brought in the option symbol to be able to get any any of the option particulars, I need to have an option symbol. So how easy how it is to make an option symbol. We type in option symbol, click on the FX button. Now the underline is Apple. 
in this case column H. Expiration date is column B. Call put flag, these are all calls. And strike price is uh, column D right there. That's how simple it is. And you press enter, it automatically fills in the option symbol. Now we're going to go all the way down, select the area and copy it down. And guess what? We have all the option symbols filled in. So let's bring in some more things which I like to uh, also track. And this will show you how easy it is to bring additional data into your own spreadsheet and personalize this. So let's say we want to bring in how many days are there to expire. We type in, it will be basically the expiration date minus today. There it is, and then you simply copy it down. So this tells you that this is, this has uh, 14 days to expire, 35 days to expire and whatnot, right? We want to bring in the last price of the underlying. That's simply last times the symbol, the underlying symbol, in this case, SPG. And then we can copy that formula down. For, for getting the uh, ask price of the option, we'll type in QM stream underscore ask and go to the option symbol and press enter. And it brings in the current ask price and they are streaming. So they will actually change as the market changes. Similarly, I can, I have brought in the Delta, the theta, and also I've brought in how many days we have had this position. Now we can copy them down. So that is how easy it is to bring additional data in. And this, as you notice, it is streaming and it is updating on an Excel spreadsheet automatically. So this is how a particular user, Catherine, uses Market XLS to monitor her positions, ensure that uh, when she's in danger, what is going on. And then finally, she also can use it for trading. Let's bring in one symbol by, by clicking on which we are able to directly close this position. Let's see how we do that. We come here, let's create uh, some room for myself. And I'll say, uh, I'll call it trade here, trade here, close link. So I come here, I can type in trade here, single leg. And I type in, uh, this is a, the trade type is an option. It tell us uh, what alternatives that are, are available are shown at the bottom. So we can say option. The symbol is this particular is in column H. Quantity is in column C. Order side, we are going to be buying to close. Order type is say, let's call it market, make it easy right now. But you can also set limits, durations, good to cancel and option symbol is right here. Once we have this, we press enter. There is a link. And once we have created this link, we simply copy the link down. There they are. So now the user, when they want to close this particular position, when this is in danger, they simply click on this link. Now let's see what, what is this. This is an SPG with the expiration date of 318. Okay, let's click on it. And there it is, SPG, expiration date 318 and it's buy to close. It automatically fills in the Tradier brokerage platform. Then you can preview this and submit. And that is how you manage your positions using Market XLS in Excel. Thank you.